afternoon. Welcome to the vlog, season seven, episode four. It is officially the moving vlog. It's my last weekend in Atlanta. I am getting dressed for my last event to have to look human while I'm an Atlanta resident. And I was like, let me go ahead and start the vlog before I look up and I'm picking up the U-Haul. So we're here. Um, I have the Kev on stage, That Chick Angel, Here's the Thing podcast live tonight. I'm really excited. I don't watch a lot of podcasts because I'm not going to debate like who gets to play first or who puts the rent, but their podcast is really good and I'm going to see it live tonight. I'm very, very excited. I'm actually going with my sister's co-worker. We actually really don't even know each other. We literally just both happen to love this podcast and she mentioned to me that um, he also loves this podcast. So we got seats beside each other and we're gonna go. So I'm going to put something on, look decent. I literally left out one outfit um, and just enough makeup to go to this. I know I mentioned press-ons. I went to the beauty supply store and I think I found some press-ons just big enough for my big old nails. So we're gonna attempt those and hopefully that works out. But I'm pretty excited, so that's what it's giving. Let me show you my house. I hopefully by the time this vlog is over, I won't be able to show y'all these crazy scars that these hives left on my legs. Y'all will hear all kind of fans because my unit is off because they're not gonna kill me in this apartment with these raggedy, filthy air ducts. Um, they didn't come and fix them, of course, because I didn't even. I emailed them about the vents and all that because they needed to know that that's crazy how my air ducts were looking. Um, again, I'll put the vlog here. I mentioned it last time, but I didn't um, expect them to fix it. But I have my last load. I've been doing laundry every single day, but I'm in the stage where everything is packed. Like. I'm in the ridiculous part of packing where it's like, what do you do with the picnic basket in the crock pot? I have given my white rug a blowout and I have to brush her out. They don't tell you that when you get a white shaggy fur rug, you have to give it a blowout and literally like comb it out. I am going through all the utensils, throwing things away. Everything's off the wall. Shoes are wrapped. Plants are taken apart. Taffy doesn't know what to do. It just looks crazy in here. Complete complete mess but in like 48 hours we will be up out of here so we're just pushing through trying to get things done things done i've also hit the stage where i'm like throwing everything away so there's that taffy say hello so yeah that's what we're giving um this is going to be our hood on nail salon area we're going to try to attempt to get these on so i'm going to get dressed i'm going to try to get there early it's supposed to rain um here so I'm gonna try to get there early. Parking's probably gonna be a little crazy. And yeah, let's put on a little makeup. Let's look a little human. I actually have had a complete change of heart as far as um, getting ready for the show. I went to the Ball Brothers tour last year, which was Kev on stage and um tony baker great show by the way and i got like all done up full beat cute outfit really nice solo date and i went out after so it made sense this i'm coming home immediately after because i have to get up really early and pack my car and stuff like that so i'm not going out after and it also was kind of like i was treating myself because i was going on a solo date it was like a big deal that kind of thing but Besides that, like, you're in the audience, nobody sees you, so I decided to not do the press-ons. I'm gonna save them. Easter's coming up, and I have, like, all these content plans and stuff when I'm in Charleston, so I'm gonna save the press-ons, because nobody cares about my nails while I'm at the show, and I'm gonna literally take them off. So I don't wanna waste them in case these nails have a short life. I don't know how long these nails will last, especially with me moving, so I don't wanna waste them. And then, I just don't feel like doing a full beat. I'm gonna put makeup on, but I'm not doing lashes and all that, so I just don't see a point. I honestly am trying to, I had to even convince myself like, do a little something. I know I don't wanna just, you know, not put anything on my face, but sorry, this new pencil is giving me a fight. Um, but yeah, I'm 
I'm gonna put a little something on. I know I wanna, you know, not be completely bare faced, but I'm not about to do too much. It's not necessary. I'm not the one on stage. So I'm gonna just do a little, a little light something. But it is my favorite podcast. Literally, whenever I go home, because it's usually at least a three hour drive, this is a podcast that I listen to. Music kind of lulls me to sleep. I'm trying out this new bra wax that I got from the hair store. Bra waxes, honestly, I've tried Morphe. I've tried um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. They really just like edge controls. So I said, let me just get a little beauty supply one. I've tried the brow soap and all that. So I said, let me just try a little beauty supply one and see if that does the trick. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm really excited. It's at the Coca-Cola Roxy here in Atlanta, which is like at the battery. If you're in Atlanta or been to events in Atlanta, you know where that is. I haven't personally been to this venue, so I am excited. The weather is nice right now, but it's supposed to rain later, so I'm gonna try to get there a little early. Literally, there is no rain forecasted for the entire week, except for the day I'm moving. So, let's cross our fingers that somehow, all the packaging is giving me trouble. Let's cross our fingers that somehow the weather turns around because the velvet couch that I have does not want me to have to move in the rain. And I don't wanna have to move in the rain. After last time I moved, moving in June, um, and my friends and my sister and brother, basically us all moving everything, I definitely hired movers this time. Not like for everything. So my mom and I are still going to move some things into the truck, but I did get movers for a couple hours on Tuesday for the big stuff because we could not move like the um, couch and the mattress and the really heavy stuff. One of the most important things I'm looking forward to, like I said before, I think is at my new house, I will not be three stories up like I am here. But with that being said, I was not going to even attempt to carry a couch and a mattress up and down three flights of stairs or down three flights of stairs. So. The main thing is getting the movers. My lighting is kind of crazy because we moved like all my lamps. Getting the movers to get the really heavy stuff. And honestly, my clothes and stuff, we got these moving bags. I will throw this stuff over these stairs and just wish for the best if we have to. I'm not stressing myself out. I am, I've thrown away a lot of stuff, gotten rid of a lot of stuff, but I have just so many clothes. I feel like I just still have a ton of stuff um in general it's crazy to me and i don't feel like i'm a hoarder but i do have a lot of things um trying to get rid of like a lot of workout clothes i know i do a lot of partnerships and stuff for at leisure companies and stuff so of course naturally i just have a ton of sports bras a ton of leggings stuff like that so trying to see what i actually wear has been a big thing but yeah just overall just excited to move of course it's bittersweet hold on i'm gonna turn my big light on that kind of did something i haven't done like a get ready with me chit chat get ready with me so i did just want to kind of like do my makeup a little bit and uh, talk to you guys about moving because i know i didn't mention it and then all of a sudden i was like by the way i'm moving um i wanted to kind of get everything situated and you know notify jobs and everything like that before i really talked about moving but i have known for a little while um especially with you know me moving into a house and having to essentially break my lease here in atlanta of course i had to you know let my apartment complex here know and things like that um leaving atlanta was a pretty big decision for me i've been here for 11 years now and i love atlanta obviously i've been here for a long time i moved here immediately after college like literally left graduation with a u-haul i never went back home or anything like that and i graduated grad school and i stayed i started working right after grad school and i fell in love with atlanta and i just never left but as I've been here, Atlanta has got progressively more expensive for the most part. I've kind of been in the same area. I've been in the city, in the Midtown area. I love the Midtown, like in the city area is 
where I love to be. It's gotten progressively not only just more expensive, but more dangerous for lack of a better word. Like we joke and say like, we full, don't come here. But it is like, it's so crowded. And literally if there is a piece of land, it's like they're building something there. And I hate to sound like, you know, like the old people, like they're always building something or it's crowded or, you know, we, they're always changing it. But yeah, like if there's a piece of land, they're putting something there, it's so overcrowded. There is a storage unit on every block. It feels like there's literally in the place that I like to go walking on the belt line, there is a new complex where it's 320 square feet and they start at like 2,400 a month. 320 square feet is a hotel room. So I've been in the same area for over 10 years and my apartments have generally been about the same size, but they are approaching triple the price if actually no even more they're approaching almost four times the price for little to no change in the amenities um so price was a factor just overall crowded like just overall crowdedness and space was a factor and safety was a factor i have um ring cameras and stuff and i joke with my mom like the amount of times on my app that it says was the, was that fireworks or gunshots is crazy and i live in the city like i live in what is supposed to be like the nice part quote unquote like the nice area so it's just a lot so being a single woman in the area i always say that if i don't feel like i can walk my dog at night without feeling like i need to have a taser or some kind of weapon or that kind of thing we doing too much so all that's to say you know and of course my family is in charleston with my family growing my parents getting older and things like that the privilege of you know being able to work remote or work from home it just made sense and of course being able to move into a home and not having to rent it all just kind of made sense anytime i would explain to somebody like why like how i could move or what my situation could be to move they would kind of be like so what are you doing here so that's that that's my spiel on why i'm moving how i'm moving that kind of thing i like i said i love my situation here it's kind of, it's kind of bittersweet because i love um routine and i have my friends here and i have my kroger here and i have my eyebrow lady here and i have my nail girl here and you know when i want to go walking i know my i can call my friend and we can have our trail and i have my restaurants and that kind of thing so i will have a little bit of that fear of like feeling you know somewhat alone or having to get new routines and new structure but change is good so nothing changes and nothing changes i don't want to just be here in atlanta paying five thousand dollars and you know feeling crowded or whatever just because i'm afraid to try something new so we're gonna do something different <sighs> wish me luck i'm gonna slap on this little face show y'all my little merch outfit and then we're gonna head on to this show okay we've made it i have on my it's for black people anyway kev on stage merch shirts got my glasses I'm gonna just wear my little Telfar crossbody. You can't have big bags in there. My black pants go to throw some black boots. This is that weird weather where it's 67 right now, but it says when I come out, it's going to be 36 degrees. So I'm just gonna like grab a coat. I have coffee being made right now. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I'm excited for my life. I woke up this morning at four, I'm so tired, but I'm gonna push through. I got dressed a little too early. It's um only, let me see, 5.45. It takes me 15 minutes to get there. They said the doors open at 6.30. Low key, I might just leave and sit in my car because I'm tired and I feel like I just need to go ahead and do something. I'm kind of hungry, maybe I'll get food on the way. I don't know, I just feel like I need to get out the house, get some fresh air. I'm excited for the show though, so I'ma just go. The show's gonna be great. I know once I get moving, it's gonna be good. I just need to get out and about. I feel like I got cabin fever. Taffy.
keep the house in order. Don't chew anything while I'm going. Okay, I got a little snack and now I'm excited. And I have really good seats too. We got floor seating. We're like right by the stage. Luckily, these are not comedians that will like roast the audience. So I don't have anything to worry about. I think I'm gonna get me like a little glass of wine or something. We'll see. Okay, I did not expect there to already be a line of people outside. I mean, we have tickets for our seats already, but wow. have not been to I don't know what's comparable to that but amazing 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 show I'm probably not even gonna have a voice tomorrow the only way I knew that we were close the only way that we could have been closer is literally if we were in the show we were literally on the second row so close I laughed so hard the entire time the show was so good, no complaints, five stars, we sang, we rapped, we had gospel, we laughed, it's so, 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 so good, beyond my expectations, so good, it is, what time is it, it is, oh my goodness, it is already, it's 10 o'clock. I mean, the show started at 7.30, so about, okay, 10.30, excuse me, it's 10.30. So about what I expected, past my bedtime in real life. I would like to say I'm gonna stay up late and try to like pack some more, but realistically, I know that I'm going to wake up early no matter what. So it makes the most sense to just go to bed um, and wake up because I'm getting on the road tomorrow to drop my car off, come back here, it's a whole thing. So, I'm just gonna try to get this makeup off, get to bed as soon as possible. But yeah, the show was really good. This is gonna sound so dramatic, but it was a little bittersweet driving home because I was like, oh my gosh, this is my last time going out in Atlanta and like going home as a resident. It's gonna feel really weird coming to Atlanta for stuff and like coming to Atlanta as a visitor. I kind of, it's kind of gross as a resident, like visitors are kind of gross. So it's gotta be kind of weird being a visitor in Atlanta. I don't know, it's hard to explain unless you live here or from, it's just gonna be weird coming here and not being here, not being from here, not living here. It's gonna be weird like being a visitor here. But yeah, it was a little bittersweet even my friend that I went with, he was like, so when do you move? And I was like, 48 hours. And he was like, wait. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going out. I'm leaving like tomorrow. And he was like, well, you went out with a bang. So great way to go out, heading out to bed. Apparently get on the road tomorrow. So good night. A small car is all fun and games until it's time to move. I didn't know if I was going to get this humongous rug in my car, but we got it. The Amazon haul is going to be good. Because all this stuff, most of my stuff, I've gotten off Amazon so far. We did it. Oh, Lord. Okay.
Well, at least we know it's actually big enough. Whew. Dang, they got my phone number on and everything. Damn. Okay. Let's see. What else I ordered? Honestly, I'm going to do an Amazon home haul for sure because I have found some really good Amazon stuff and I definitely want to do like a home haul just of all the different things. I've got some stuff off of Shein too, but for the most part, I've got some really good stuff off Amazon. This is my shower curtain and my shower liner. Perfect. We hung my shower curtain a little bit higher and it's a curved shower rod to give like that spa feel and make the shower seem bigger. So I went extra long so hopefully this is the right length i gotta return my other one for the standard or just vlogging i did the standard shower length but mike hung a little bit higher so i got 96 inch i'm hoping this ain't too long you know standard is like 72. You're right i think this is 84. okay yeah standard is 72. Ooh, this is 96. Oh. you want to see this too long uh, 96 will probably be like. I don't think he hung it that high. This might be too long. For what are you hanging? In the bathroom. Here, see. Oh. Oh. I already got to return the other one. I'm hoping it's not too long. I think oh. I did the. Oh. Okay. He's gonna pass the wall. Yeah, I know. I, I saw you say you something know, like that. You know, homeowner issues already. There's no maintenance man. Yeah, so he's gonna pass the wall, but the shelves are good. So we did some built-in shelving. Um, the shelves are good. Don't touch them because I painted them black, so you can kind of see where. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch. You see, I was just looking at that look, corner over there. There was some I painted. You can't. You kind of see where I painted. And then I got my okay. duvet cover. Um, Y'all kind of saw I had some pink at my other house, but I did like this. What would you call this? Like stone. Okay. The boards on the outside now rot, naughty. No. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Okay. Um, so I did stone. You can't really see, but I'll do a full house. But I did stone for the bedroom. So this is gonna be. Oh, I was about to say, what is my this? This is the um, Yes. Yeah, so my, I'm gonna cut that. So go ahead and fill that in there. My yeah. van will be over. Oh, look. And then so the light switch. You know the light switch for my lamp in the living room. Uh huh. Where is that lamp? One in the bedroom. You know how the the pull the string broke. Yes. This is an on off outlet. So we don't have to worry about fixing oh. things. So now it'll be like an on off. Plan. Okay, good, good. Amazon, that's why I said I'm gonna do an Amazon um, haul with all the home good. stuff I found because I found some really good right. Amazon stuff. Okay. Tons and tons of stuff. So I'm gonna just throw this to the side and we're gonna get this stuff put up. So now we gotta go back to Atlanta. Me and my mama can't wait. So we gonna roll the carpet out anyway. I'm steady walking around with shoes. Oh shoot, I what? should take mine off. I That's fine, we're gonna vacuum everything anyway. Oh. What did I say, 78? 78 inch white shower curtain. <coughs> Boom. Ooh. Ooh, and it's on sale. What's on sale? Half off. What is this? White, 78 inch white shower curtain. Oh. So they say, I feel like they just be putting what's, <laughs> right. what's on sale, what you have to um, You have something to cut this open? I'm sure. Oh, wait a minute. I got a key. I got my key right here. I got my... Uh, this, this buying the rugs felt very adult. I, you know, I've been washing rugs for six months. Rugs don't go on sale. <laughs> It'd be 20%. Rugs do not go on sale. I wish I had a box cutter, but I don't have one. I'm sure we do. I don't have my toolbox. Mom, all these tools down here, you just told me not to go because you said I got a key. When this going to come? They say Tuesday. I don't like these. You know, I don't, be, I don't like these... Um, What? Waffle shower curtains. Don't they feel like hospital shower curtains or is you that just me? Waffle? That white waffle pattern. Is that just me? That don't feel like a hospital shower curtain? Hospital shower curtain don't look like that. What? Okay, I guess it don't feel luxe to me. Maybe I'm... 
Hey, you gotta get what feel lux to you. I don't know, that is for like a, or a hotel. Maybe I'm making that up, I don't know. But. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm going to run me. Ma, I could've went and got the thing. You told me you had a key. I know, we could've got your knife set or something. I could've been got it. Do you want me to go get it? It would've been open. Said we go mostly black. Uh huh. Okay. Good for high traffic. See? But that's okay. We got most of it. <laughs> yeah, but if we went this way, we can still turn we it. Get it. We can turn it though. Okay. Once we got it out the thing, let's turn it. That ain't nothing to turn it. This way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice, I like it. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Yeah, let these inside. Oh, and it feels good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, all that trash. Beautiful. I gotta order my little acrylic calendar thing for the fridge. Yes, yes, yes. Captain's log. Day. 472. We've thrown everything overboard. All the cabinets are empty. I've hit the stage of insanity. The house looks crazy. We're back in Atlanta. There's no real update. I've hit the stage where, what do you do with the door hangers? I just wanna throw everything away or sort it when I get to Charleston. That's where I am. We've taken our random midday nap and we're just gonna put it all in boxes and figure it out later. That's the update. See you when the U-Haul is here. That's all I got. Okay, we're picking up our U-Haul, allegedly. That's got a sign in it. If we can find our U-Haul, A, E, Maybe we should ask him. He said look at the top right of the truck. Okay. AL59. Oh, wait, no, no. DC4192. So this is ours. This one? Yes. DC. I'm looking at the license plate, okay. but it's the serial number. So this is us. DC4192R. Okay. Hold this. Okay. Dang. They don't give you the take the thing out the window or nothing no. all right so this is a bigger oh yeah this this yeah you don't need nothing else <laughs> and you want it bigger than this it's not that big please i thought we had that one Is it me? Am I the drama? I'm already having a talk in a whisper tone today because the man called me on the way here and told me that they may have left the lock on the back of my car. And I'm gonna have to explain that to my mama and I haven't even seen if they left it on there yet. I'm trying to prepare myself to get out and see. So the options are I would either have to drive back in Atlanta morning traffic, which I'm not gonna do, or I would have to see if we have a bolt cutter and cut the bolt ourselves, which we don't have. So I'd have to go to the store and pay for one, which they probably wouldn't reimburse us. 
And then I asked, would y'all cover the mileage, like reimburse us for the mileage because y'all, um, you know, they give a certain amount of mileage per trip. Would y'all reimburse for the mileage I have to come back there? And he said, I would have to check. So I'm just gonna explain to my mom in a very whisper, low voice so that we don't, you know, already turn up this early. But I'm just like, why, why? This It's always something on moving day. Why is it always something? Is it me? Was it, is it was a full moon yesterday? I just want to stay calm because I don't want it to be chaos every time I move. So that's where we are. So let's get out the car and let's just see if there's a bolt on the truck. Let's cross our fingers and let's just see. And let's just see if I have to explain this to my mama. Let's just see. We're gonna just be very calm and we're just gonna resolve things very easily. going so smooth it's the only day this week that it's raining it's literally sunny every day except today mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. it's a lock on it it's a lock on it it's a lock on it i'm gonna have to tell her i thought you were going back in i was but then i said let me let her do it but then also there's something else oh look at a little pink hammer that'd be cute for Blue. Uh, I feel like I should get a little. Okay. Oh, hello. Bolt cutters. Bolt cutters. Big ones. A uh, small lock. Like a little gold padlock. Uh, I wouldn't even try that little guy right there. You'd be spraining your brain. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even uh, no. no ah. Okay. Oh, red handle. Red handle. There's a box of red handles. That? Oh, okay. I started. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Don't need that big. Um, Just to let you know they're non returnable. Uh, okay. Geez, that's kind of big there. I'm trying to think if it'll get in the lock. Oh. oh. Cause it's uh, I mean it'll it'll do, but that is big. Um, I, I mean, but we gotta get through it. You almost have to. Yeah, I mean it will. You wanna make sure it can get through it'll the. It'll get through the, cause that's a tight space. Right. This is why you gotta be nice to everybody. Oh, uh, I still Because the maintenance man swooped in here and saved us. Thank you. Because Khadijah don't need you. <laughs> decided that packing all your food as a single woman is really just packing a bunch of condiments. I opened my fridge thinking I was gonna have a lot of stuff to go through and I realized it's just a bunch of, you have about meat and meat. It's just actually a bunch of expired salad dressings and questionable seasonings. <laughs> Ebony was trying to be funny and made a joke about, oh, and like a random onion and then also. We didn't black, you always have a random And then like the avocado that I bought when I thought I was being healthy. Take them because it's Oh, I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna oh. take them. Cause who knows? This is a lot of stuff. Okay. Wow. And somewhere in there is my couch. Wow. We did it. <sighs> okay, so I'm just here sitting on my couch. Come here, Taffy. Reunited with my dog. I don't even know how this crazy this shot looks. I just like got some extra clips. Just kind of wanted to show y'all like we did make it. We're in the house. 
a car almost ran me off the road driving up here. We made it though. I had a panic attack the minute we hit the interstate. Like, I don't know if it was just leaving Atlanta. I really like structured a routine and it was like, everything I've known for the last 11 years is no longer like, it was just a lot. Ghost of Christmas past and things tried to pop back up today. It was just a lot, but we made it and I'm excited. Of course, obviously like moving is not all to be done in the movie vlog because this is a process. You know, some people be like, it takes me years to unpack or months. No, I'm going to lock myself in here. This will be done within the week, within a couple weeks. Like this will be done quickly. I have so many Amazon boxes. This will be done sooner than later. I don't play the games. I cannot even get dressed and be out and about having fun when I know my house is crazy. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Like I said, there'll be a lot of Amazon hauls and stuff. I can't wait to do like a little house mini tour or whatever because I can already tell it's going to be super duper cute. But at the end of the day, the day got to end. So thank you guys so much for watching this moving vlog. Next time I say something's not going to be chaotic, let me know immediately to stop talking because I'm a jinx it every time. But we're here in the city, new content. I did, the same, I did content in the same city since I started making content. So I'm really excited to be in a new place making content. So let me know what you guys want to see this is an all new experience restaurants yoga studios all things see you in the next one